Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to use Adobe XD to utilize this awesome looking transition between our mobile screens. There are many different ways that you can achieve something like this but in today's video we are going to utilize masks in order to achieve a look like this in Adobe XD. So let's get started. Alright, so here we have the practice file which is used for this video. If you want to get this practice file, make sure to check out my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for these YouTube videos and much more. So if you're interested in content like that and to follow along with this and every other YouTube tutorial, make sure to check it out. Once again, link is going to be down in the description below. Now what we have in this practice file are obviously these two screens, so we have this starting file file and we have this ending file which is basically where we show additional details about this particular product. What we have right here are the colors which are used in this design. We also have the character style which are just few of these different sizes of the same font and we also have some icons. So basically to get started what I can do is hit prototype then hit right here, drag it to here, use tap, use auto animate for example and use let's say ease in out and 0.8 seconds just for example and then when I click on this arrow bring it back use the same settings and then when I hit preview you can see how that looks like so basically it just shows up out of nowhere and it's not too consistent yes all right we do have this animation at the top but it's not consistent at the bottom it just appears Oh, obviously you can use this if you want to but for this particular tutorial and for this particular method we are going to utilize masks now how we are going to be able to do that uh, it's quite simple what you can do is jump in right here and the key right here is to make sure because as always when you're using auto animate to have your layers named exactly the same way and to for them to be located in exactly the same position so here we have item one two three and four obviously which is the same as this one so one two three and four so for this particular one what i'm going to do is jump in and simply select all of these place them in a group and call it content for example then inside of that group I'm simply going to use my rectangle and I'm going to position that rectangle right here then right here just make sure that it goes all the way to the outer edges of my design then I'm going to simply call it mask like so I'm going to copy this text and before I move on I want to take this icon and put it basically inside of my group so put it right around here just below my mask because I want to mask it as well. Now the next thing is obviously to mask it. So hit select all of them, hit shift control M or shift command M if you're on a Mac, call this mask like so. And what I'm going to do next for this particular uh, content is I'm going to basically take this item because this is now my selected state. What you can do is create a component. So this is going to be your default state. This is going to be your open state. And you can also create this uh, in exactly the same location. So all in one screen. But for this particular example, I'm going to choose different screen. So what I'm going to do is take this one, hit control X or control C even better. Come right here, hit control V and it's going to obviously paste the entire thing. What I'm going to do is position it right here just above my item number one and I'm going to jump inside my content, use my mask and simply mask all the additional layers which I don't need. So to show you what I don't need, I'm going to hide it. We are going to need the image, the heart and these two texts because these are the original ones right here. So basically how to do that, I'm going to position it right here where the original image is jump in right here then I'm going to jump inside move my icon which is this one all the way out so I'm going to hold my shift and my up arrow all the way up to here even if I want I can move it outside of my artboard because that's going to bring additional animation back to my design so when I close the mask you can see it's still right there so when I jump inside and change it so let's see right here I'm going to take my image position it to be right here then take this angle position it to be right here and obviously because we have these rounded edges what I'm going to do is use my mask and simply move it just outside and to check how all of this looks like I can hide it just to remind myself I think it's eight it is for the rounded edges uh, rounded corners of this particular image 
So once again, I'm going to jump inside, take my image, place it to be eight. And to be even more exact, what I'm going to do is select this image and simply go 156, 180. So those are my dimensions, which I should aim for. So let's see, 156 with 180. So now it's completely fine. It's eight, so that's great. I'm going to take my information, which is all the way down here. And I'm going to basically position it in exactly the same place as this text is. So like this. Yep. And I'm going to take this text, which is right here, position it in exactly the same place as this text is. And that's basically it. So to remove any distraction, I'm going to erase the original item number one, which is this one. And let's hit delete. And the last thing to do is to move this heart icon. So I'm going to place it right here. It's 10 on each side. So let's see like this. So 10, 10, that's fine. And let me check for the one last time. I think everything is looking good. Now, finally, I need to adjust my mask a little bit because I want it to go just outside of my image so I can see my image, my text and all of the other information, but I don't want it to hide um, all of this additional information. I just wanted to keep it right here. Now, that's basically it. We can animate it at this stage, but to keep the animation a bit more interesting, what I'm going to do is, because we moved that arrow icon all the way to here, we're going to do the same thing for all of this additional information. So for this button, I can move it all the way down to here. Then I can move this to here, move this to here, for example, and move these additional images to somewhere around here so that we have a bit of a bouncing effect when we come back. So if I switch to prototyping mode like this, click drag, I'm going to use once again the same settings. So tap auto animate easy now 0.8 seconds. And now when I come back, I'm going to use tap auto animate easy and out, but I'm going to use one second because I want it to be uh, just a bit longer when it comes back to this original screen than when it came out. So let's test it out, see how it looks like. So once again, when you click right here, you can see how that looks like. So basically it reveals all of this information. If you think that uh, we position them too far, you can uh, move them down even more. If you want them to come at a different time, for example, you can move them closer to the top if you want them to appear faster. So it's all up to you and how you want to achieve this. Finally, because it's in this state that our image is straight on each corner. And in this state, our image is rounded by eight pixels on these corners. So just make sure to pay attention to these uh, details. And that's basically it. You can see how the text rearranges how this heart goes to the top and all of it works as it should. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos just like this one every single week on my channel. So make sure to subscribe. There are also videos about design tips, career, motivation, and much more. So if you enjoy content like that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.